This is part two of section 11.3. We are practicing using the combination formula, mainly. Okay, so I'm asked to calculate this. Uh, the combinations of 10 things taken three at a time divided by the combinations of six things taken four at a time. Okay, so let's just do these separately. Um, this would be 10 factorial over 10 minus three is seven factorial times three factorial. And six C four would be six factorial over two factorial, four factorial. Okay. And I'm just gonna use the calculator to do this. That's 120. Okay, and this one is 15. So what I'm being asked to find is 120 divided by 15, which is eight. Okay, I believe you could use the the fraction here. It's just a question of how how confident you are that you will enter things correctly every time. It's your comfort level with a calculator here. Okay, so let's try this one. Mm, they've thrown a permutation into us. Okay, so I'm gonna do 20 P2. Now from our formulas from the last section, it's going to be 20 factorial divided by n minus r factorial, so 18 factorial. Okay. Now I want to divide this by this uh, 2 factorial. Well, let's just think of this as fractions. I'm going to keep it, change it, flip it. And I think you'll see why I'm doing this in just a second. Because this goes under one and then you multiply straight across. Okay, so this is our first thing right here. I can do all the calculations, but I'm not going to right now. Now let's do 20C2. Well, this is 20 factorial over, subtract these to get 18 factorial, and then two factorial. These are exactly the same, right? So what happens if I subtract things that are the same? You get zero. Okay, and this just helps you see the relationship between the two. Now let's do one minus five uh, P three over 10 P four. Let's do, this is one minus, I'll just use the calculators here. Five P three is 60 over 10 P four is 50, 40. Okay, now I'll just do this subtraction and I get 83 over 84. Okay. One more of these. I have 10 C3 over 6 C4 minus 46 factorial over 44 factorial. Okay, now if you look right here from the previous page, we did this part. This is exactly the same as this. So I know that answer is eight. 
Okay, so I'm not, there's no need to redo all of this if we've done it once. So this is eight minus 46 times 45 times 44 factorial over 44 factorial. Those cancel. Okay, so I get eight minus 2070, which gives us negative 2062. Being aware of, hey, that problem looks familiar, could really save you some time. Okay, now let's just start doing some real work with it. We're gonna use that formula to solve each of the following. A four-person committee is to be elected from an organization's membership of 11 people. How many different committees are possible? Now, if we're just choosing committees, then the order does not matter, so it is a combination. There are a total of 11 people to choose from, and we need to choose four. So this will be 11 factorial, over 11 minus four is seven factorial, four factorial. Okay. And what we get is three hundred and thirty. 